What are you doing? I'll get right up in there. They kick you out. Get right back in there. Yeah, looks like Sweetie Pea's back in. I give her a couple more weeks. Give him a little extra green. We got some snow coming in. You're all right, sweetie. All the rest of them are down at the side of these bale. As you can see, they make sure they give every last little bit of it. Right, Gertie? They were talking about kind of farmer's lingo and stuff. And for you beginners, you know, you got to start somewhere. But we've got some cows that are getting close to freshening. That means they're going to have their babies. So we have to keep a closer eye on them. So, what's some of the lingo? Well, you got calves. Calves are newborns. Can be a bull or a calf, or a bull or a heifer. Once they get up to a certain size, then they're classified as bulls and heifers. And at that point, they either leave that bull as a bull or they will take and castrate him or band him and make him a steer so that he can't breed. Because you don't want to have too many bulls together anyways. Getting bred. That just means that your cow or first and second calf heifer have been bred to have a calf. And that can be done two ways. One is AI, and that's not artificial intelligence, it's artificial insemination. And then you also have free range where you have a bull. AI, artificial insemination, the semen is collected from a bull from anywhere. And it's frozen cryogenically in nitrogen, liquid nitrogen, in straws. So one bull, hey sweetie, one bull can give a lot of semen and they put them in straws in liquid nitrogen and then the AI breeder will show up and he'll take the straw out that you want for a bull, warm it up and then physically take the straw and push the semen into the cow to get her bread. Nobody's going to get you, Coco. You have feedlot and you have free range. Feedlot is just simply what it says. They're confined to a smaller area. They're fed everything. The idea of most feedlots is to grow that animal, put on as much weight as they possibly can in the shortest period of time. My operation here is free range. And they're also what they call grass fed because they feed on the grass and hay. Grain fed, feed lots, and some producers, you know, feed a heavy amount of hay and corn silage and stuff to put on the weight so you have the good marbling. That can also be done by just taking that animal and penning it up for a month and feeding a lot of cornmeal. All right, so I gotta do the rest of the chores before I freeze to death here. But I'll, I'll have more stuff as we go. All right, Lucy, come here. This is good hay. Yes, it is. 
Are you looking for a place to lay down? A dry spot. <sighs> Did you want to get it? Huh? Did you want to get it? Yeah, that's a good bale. That's a good bale of hay. Look at that. Huh? You're all right. You're just a baby, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're just a baby. You're all my babies. So why don't you get that bale of hay? Is everybody getting enough to eat or not, Coco? What do you think, lady? Huh? They won't let you in? Gosh, she's bagging pretty good, too. So I gotta start watching her and Sweetie Pea. Who else do we got in here? Huh? I don't have to worry about you. You're a bull. Same thing with you. Your little boys. Yeah, she's not looking too bad. A lot of people wonder what I do when I'm down here and why I spend extra time with them and it's because of their health. I want to make sure if there's something going on, I catch it early and not let it get to a point of where you may end up losing the animal. What do you think, Blackie? Huh? What do you think, Blackie? You the baby? Did they let you in there, Gertie, or not? Looks like they're slamming it down pretty good. There ain't much left. How about you, Pygmy? I see your head. I don't know how you little guys are in there. Usually the big cows don't let you in there. Must be the mamas want to make sure you're good and fat. Hey there, Pygmy. Did you get some? I can see it's all over your head, so must be. How about you, ladybug? You're two in the cud, so must be you got some. Yeah, I lost the bale off the wagon. I'll have to go back and move that. Oh, come on. Yeah, she's bagging pretty good. And she's a heifer that I raised here. Come out of one of the cows. Oh, you're all right. Nobody's gonna get you. Nobody's gonna get you. Nope. Nobody's gonna get you. Hey, they sparky, huh? Hey, Harry. Pygmy, over here. Come here. Come on, Pygmy. Get over here. Right here. Big me. Look at that. Get over here. Get over here, you guys. Come on, girls. Lady, you keep getting caught up in everything. Get right on this side. Big me. Oh, that smells nice and sweet. Get over here. Come here, sweetie. Come on, Lucy. Lucy, get over here. You want some? Some good fresh hay. Yeah. Well, get over here. You're all right. Come over on this side. Ladybug, right here. It's nice and sweet right here. Yeah, that's good hay. Pygmy, come on. Yeah, I don't get right out of there. Yeah, 
pretty good stuff, huh? Yes, it is. It is pretty good stuff. Well, get in there. Well, get in there. You're all right. See what I got, pygmy? What do you think of that? Huh? Oh, that's nice and sweet, isn't it? Even I can smell the sweetness out of it. Yeah, you better get over there. Lucy will share with you. Yeah, Lucy will share with you. Harry, he's found his own bale. He's having a good time, huh, Harry? Yeah, you put on a lot of weight since you got here. I thought you were kind of young when I first got you. But he's half Angus and half Wagyu. Japanese beef. Supposed to be the best. The guys asked me, have you tried any Wagyu beef yet? And I said, well, if you don't produce, I'm going to tell you how it tastes. And But so far, he seems to be doing his job. And he's very mild. Laid back. Easy to be around. I don't know, well, if a stranger come in the yard, probably he'd act out, but with me, he's just so used to me. See, I told you, Lucy, it was good stuff.